the next decade for forests and the Forest Carbon Partnership Facility. Forests are an amazingly complex and beautiful environment. They are mysterious, but they also are the fabric of life. Forests are important for uh, clean air, clean water, fertile soil. Forests are really absolutely necessary in the fight against climate change. It is no way that we will be able to achieve the goals by the Paris Agreement without taking into account forests. They also very much matter for poverty reduction and for development. Billions of people depend on forests for their livelihoods. If forests were sustainably managed, uh, they would be an engine of uh, green growth in many uh, parts of the world. From a climate perspective, we know that forests and land-based solutions can potentially contribute 37% of the reduction in greenhouse gas emissions that we need. However, we're not winning this battle. We really haven't turned the corner on, on, on massive deforestation, and we really haven't, as an international community, put up the you know, large-scale funding to really change the calculus of business as usual in a lot of forest countries. The world's tropical forests are now so degraded that in some parts of the world they have become a source rather than a sink of carbon emission. C'est une menace euh, une première fois pour la biodiversité et ensuite une menace pour la population locale qui vit de ces euh, ressources. The reason why there's degradation and uh, deforestation because people produce food they need income. We have to revert the trend of deforestation worldwide. We also have to invest in reforestation, in restoration and in the productive uses of forests so that communities and countries can benefit from those forests that they have. There's a lot of reason for hope. There's been incredible progress over the last decade. It's kind of amazing how many countries have had participatory processes to really raise the profile of forest issues and develop their forest monitoring capacity and bring in stakeholders who haven't been included before. We've come a long way in the last 10 years. 447 companies have made 760 commitments to reduce or eliminate deforestation from their supply chains. What we have seen in terms of experience from the Red Plus program, I think is very encouraging. It has created jobs, it has given opportunities to communities, to indigenous communities, and particularly, I'm very happy that it has given opportunities to women. We know that 109 countries have included forests in the national plans that they have prepared in order to meet the Paris objectives. The important thing going forward is to ensure that these plans and these aspirations are translated into action on the ground. The World Bank and other development partners have been investing a lot in environmental conservation activities and forest management. And those investments have already started bearing fruits. With the support that we have from the World Bank, it has helped build our own capacity to understand you know, the urgency in uh, reducing degradation and deforestation. The Forest Carbon Partnership Facility has been the preeminent meeting place for countries to flesh out together the hard issues on protecting and restoring forests. And the FCPF Carbon Fund is now very well positioned to provide over the next few years a series of success stories about how international collaboration can support forest protection at scale. I would encourage them to continue working to making sure that forests are able to make an everyday bigger contribution to capturing carbon. The real work now with implementation on the ground is when the exciting stuff begins. So thank you and uh, I very much look forward to continuing uh, our journey together. <laughs>